Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, your station where you watch and learn. I'm your tutor, Mr. Mwangi, taking you through chemistry form 2. Today we are going to look at metallic bonds. So stay tuned throughout the lesson. So what are the objectives of this lesson? By the end of the lesson, you'll be able to describe metallic bond and you'll also be able to state the physical and chemical properties of substances with metallic bond. Previously, we have introduced ourselves to bonding and we said this is a mutual force of attraction between atoms in a compound. We illustrated that there are three main types of bonds which basically are uh, ionic bond, covariant bond and uh, dative bond. In this case, we are going to look at metallic bonds. So metals, let's have some examples. We have copper metal, we have zinc metal, we also have aluminum. So elements whose atoms lose electrons to attain stability are basically metals. And that's how we identify uh, metals from the periodic table by looking at whether the atom will gain or lose an electron. So they have derocarized electrons. Uh, they may have one, two, three, etc. number of electrons. So what is a metallic bond? Let's consider the structure given here. So sodium, for instance, has got one electron in the outermost energy level and a positive nucleus. So the positive nucleus is surrounded by uh, electrons from various atoms. And therefore, you can see it's as if we have a, si a, a, a pool of positively uh, charged ions uh, in a pool of negatively charged ions. So what does this tell us? The positive nucleus in a pool of negative charges. You understand that whenever there is a, 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 a potential difference between charges, that is positive and negative charges, they will basically attract one another. So the force of attraction between the positively charged nucleus and the negatively charged electrons constitutes what we refer to as a metallic bond. So what are the properties of these metallic bonds? Number one, the bond formation is as a result of derocarized electrons among metal atoms. It occurs between two metals or two atoms of metals. The type of structure is electron C. The physical state is solid and they have very high uh, melting point and basically they are not soluble in water. Metals do not dissolve in water. Are they good conductors of electricity? Yes, they conduct electricity. Other properties include malleable, ductile and rustrous. Remember what we said malleable is they can be made into ion sheets. Uh, that is sheets, for instance, iron sheets. They can be made, uh, they are ductile, meaning they can be made into wires, etc. So, now let's uh, have an illustration that will help us understand metallic bond. So, metallic bond increases with increase of the number of derocarized electrons. So, let's consider the two differences here. A metal from group 1 have one electron in each atom. A metal from group 2, each atom has got two electrons. Therefore, we have increased number of negative charges attracted by the positively charged nucleus. This makes the bond to be much more strong. For instance, if we go to aluminium, that means it will have three electrons in each atom. This makes the bond to be very strong. And this will reflect in its melting and boiling point. So what are the applications? Copper wire, for instance, is used in uh, uh, overhead cable, electrical transmission wires. Uh, we also have aluminium, which, which has got several applications due to its good conductivity nature and its reactivity with other substances like water, which it, rea it does not react with water. So it can be used to make aluminium foil. Uh, you can see utensils, for instance, the sulfurias, they are used in in making, uh, they, are, they are made of aluminium and the sheets of uh, parts of the uh, aeroplane. Uh, aluminium it has a very low density, therefore it is used in making uh, parts of the iron plane. Uh, zinc is used in making dry cells. 
which makes the positive terminal. And we also have silver, the coins made up from silver. And we also have magnesium, which may be used in the manufacture of uh, drugs. For instance, the tablets we have here, or be it can be used in fireworks because of the nature of how it burns. So let's see whether we have understood uh, the goals of this lesson. Explain why the melting point of aluminium is higher than that of magnesium. Why is aluminium preferred for copper in making overhead cable in transmission, raised to application of metals? You can refer this in students book one, or more inf uh, most importantly, give us a text on, uh, through the number on your screen. Visit our YouTube and Facebook page at Erimu TV or give us a tweet at Erimu TV underscore KE. Once again, your tutor, Mr. Mongi. Stay tuned for more lessons to come.